right, so let's get started. So you can see my son's legs there, uh, a towel under each, each of them. So then, of course, we'd wrap one leg first to start off with. And then we work on the one leg. We work on the one leg, the whole sequence, and then we change legs. Now, you can see this. This, I'm going to slow this down for you. This is the ankle rub or ankle mobilization. My hands are not sliding. My heels of my hands are underneath the ankle, this side of the ankle. Okay, and here we're going to do the foot mobilization. Again, I've slowed this down for you. What you need to know is in that ankle mobilization, you are not um, sliding on the skin. Really nice to loosen up the ankle, loosen up the foot. All right, so now we're going to start to palm pressing along this send line, which is, so the, the heel of my hand is working along the tibialis anterior muscle, which is the, the thick muscle on this side of the bone, camera side of the bone. And then, so this is where my heel is working. Now we're working with the thumbs, and you can see my body leaning forward. The same time I lean forward, I'm also breathing out. So each press I breathe out. Now there's the fibular head, you're above that. So when you feel that little, bone, little bony lump there, that's a fibular head. So you can just want to work along this muscle belly, right the way to the front of that ankle there. Now you'll also know that my right hand has turned that foot inwards, and that's what you do when you first start off with. Okay, now, I'm working about an inch apart each, each time. Each thumb press. Now I could do it faster, I could do it slower. And depending on the amount of time you want to treat the person, uh, if they're like in Thailand, they do an hour and a half treatments, that they might do five repetitions of that, or even ten. So again, it's up to you. Now, I'm behind the ankle doing another send line. And you see, again, you can see my body leaning in each time. So I lean in, I breathe out. Ha. Ha. As I breathe out. Obviously, I don't make that sound, I'm just doing that for you guys. So now, this time when I come up, I'm underneath that fibula head. So before, above it, now below it. As we work along. So what we're doing, we're stimulating the energy, the LOM, in these sen, as we go along. So remember, when it comes to massage, any type of massage, the slower you do it, obviously I've, I've kept this at a, a nice brisk pace because it's for video purposes, for a course, <coughs> um, but you might like to do it you know, slower than this, much slower than this. And like I say, more repetitions. Now, we work the inner send line, and we change hands. You see, now my right hand has come off the foot, my left hand is holding the foot down, and we're going between the ankle and the Achilles tendon, up this medial side of the belly of the calf. You see that? Now, in your resources, resource notes, you will see these are very, very relaxing treatments uh, as we work these energy lines along the, the legs. Ties are very big into working the legs in their massages. And um, it's just it's such a beautiful way to start the massage with people. You know, you've bathed their feet, you've wrapped the leg in a towel, and now you're just working the legs. And my son's nine. He was just totally blissed out with this. And you can see, I'm not, uh, you know, I'm not doing sort of skin polish here. Okay, I'm just showing you where that line is, going up that side there. Uh, but I, you can see, I'm using good pressure on him, and he's absolutely fine with it. So this is just such a much beautiful start to a massage, to a foot ma reflexology massage. It's just so nice to get this work done. So we just work along this line here. See the left hand supporting the, the other foot, the, the inside of the foot there, just holding it out there nicely. You see my body weight just working there all the time. Now we're going to work the top of the foot. Now, you can see my fingers are underneath the sole of the foot there, and my thumbs, I'm using the flats of my thumbs, 
and they're going up the channel, which is the channels between the tendons, between the first and second toe, and the fourth and fifth toe. See that? So we just, and then you come to a point at the front of the ankle there. See that? There's a little hollow at the front of the ankle. You're working these lines. Now we do between the second and third and the third and fourth. So you can see that as it says here that my hands are grasping just gently the foot. So I've got total control the whole time. Always fully in control of the techniques. Now I just gently, you can see that, how I just use my left hand to gently turn the foot so I open up that lateral edge of the foot there. And again, you can see where I'm working right along up to the edge of the, the lateral side of the little toe. And you see that? So I'm holding the top of the foot there and you can see how my fingers of the working hand, my right hand, are also just underneath the foot so I've got complete control over this movement. So as I said before, in any massage form, not just Thai foot massage, if you want to relax someone more and more and more, you, do, you slow down the massage techniques. Now, this is finger circling around the ankle. I'll show you a closer view of this. But so what we're doing, I'm doing four different spots. Uh, I'm doing both ankles, and I start at the top of the ankle, sort of 12 o'clock, then do a few finger circles, both sides, Come around the, the side, the bottom, the front. So doing four aspects of the ankle to cover it all. Now we're doing finger circles when I'm, uh, around both sides of the heels, the medial and lateral side of the heel. Now we're doing palm squeezes. You can see I interlock my fingers. And you can see what I'm doing with my elbows. Elbows up and the squeeze, you're bringing your elbows together. This is where you get the squeeze from, which makes it very simple, very energy efficient. So the squeeze comes from your elbows are up, and then when you squeeze, you bring your elbows together. And that's what makes this movement. It's not literally just gripping your hands. You can see that there. And you see I'm using quite a bit of pressure. It's a beautiful, beautiful uh, thing to have done as well. Now, double thumbs along the medial aspect, the medial arch. This is the, the spinal area on the foot. And again, see how my hands are still grasping all the time around the foot, so I've got complete control. The thumbs are pressed together, you know, side by side. And again, you're using your body. Don't forget to use all the time, every single time, you're using your body weight to lean forward. You see that. As I said here before, I have generally used my breath as well, so when I press, I breathe out. Breathe in when I come up, breathe out when I do the pressure. So it becomes a, a real dance, like any massage should be. You can see there where my thumbs are as I work closer angle there. So what we're doing, we are literally just loosening up the joints and really warming up the foot. This is um, virtually a 10 minute warm up of the foot to start before we start to get into all the uh, other techniques using cream and using the tire foot stick. So you see it's one heck of a warm up. So all these techniques are without cream, as you see. And now we're going to work the center line of the foot. Now you can see my hands on the top of the foot. And now both thumbs working up that center line of the foot. So I start around, around the heel area and go up to the ball of the foot. See that? Up the center line of the foot and down. Leaning in and out all the time, using your body weight. So 
So there you have it. That's our getting started warm up of the foot. For now, we're going to get the cream and we're going to start using a heap of techniques that I'm about to show you, this time uh, using your cream or your oils.